Order the signal, Hardy. Aye, aye, sir. Hold on. This is what I dictated to flags. What is the meaning of this? Oops, sorry, sir. England expects every person to do his or her duty regardless of race, gender, sexual orientation, religious persuasion or disability. What gobbledygook is this for God's sake? Admiral policy, I'm afraid, sir. We're an equal opportunities employer now. We have the devil's own job of getting England past the senses. Let us be considered racist. God zooks, Hardy. Hand me my pipe and tobacco. Sorry, sir. All naval vessels have now been designated smoking-free environments. In that case, break open the run ration. Let us splice the main brace and steal the men before battle. The run ration has been abolished, Admiral. It's part of the government policy on binge drinking. Good heavens, Hardy. I suppose we'd better get on with it. Full speed ahead. I think you'll find that there is a 10 knot speed limit on this stretch of water. Damn it, man. We're on the eve of the greatest sea battle in history. We must advance with all dispatch. Report from the crow's nest, please. Well, that won't be possible, sir. What? How for safety have closed the crow's nest, sir. No harness, and they say that rope ladders don't meet the regulations. They won't let anyone get up there until proper scaffolding has been erected. Then get me the ship's carpenter without delay, Hardy. He's busy knocking up a wheelchair access for the foredeck, Admiral. Wheelchair access? I've never heard of anything so absurd. How for safety again, sir. We have to provide a barrier-free environment for the differently abled. Differently abled? I've only one arm and one eye, and I refuse to hear any mention of the word. I didn't rise to the rank of Admiral by playing the disability card. <clears throat> Actually, sir, you did. The Royal Navy is underrepresented in the areas of visual impair and limb deficiency. Whatever next, give me full sail. The salt spray beckons. A couple of problems there too, sir. How for safety you won't let the crew up the riggings without hard hats. And they don't want anyone breathing in too much salt. Haven't you seen the adverts? I've never heard such infamy. Break out the cannon and tell the men to stand by to engage the enemy. The men are a bit worried about shooting anyone, Admiral. What? This is mutiny. It's not that, sir. It's just in case they are afraid of being charged with murder if they actually kill anyone. There is a couple of legal aid lawyers on board watching everyone like hawks. Then how are we to sink the Frenches and the Spanish? Actually, sir, we're not. We're not? No, sir. The French and the Spanish are our European partners now. According to the Common Fisheries Policy, we shouldn't even be in this stretch of water. We could get hit with a claim of conversation. But you must hate a Frenchman as you hate the devil. I wouldn't let the ship Diversity a coordinator let you hear that, sir. You will be up for disciplinary report. You must consider every man an enemy who speaks ill of your king. Not anymore, sir. We must exclude this multicultural age. Now put on your Kevlar vest. It's the rules. It could save your life. Don't tell me health and safety. What happened to rum, the lash and sodomy? As I explained, sir, rum is off the menu, and there is a ban on corporal punishment. What about sodomy? I believe that is now legal, sir. In that case, kiss me, Hardy. <laughs> oh, Horatio, you've got a big sword.